Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And as always, thank you for watching us on the channel. Um, we love to bring you Sudoku, variant Sudoku every day, just to give you a chance to take a break from the, the worries of normal life and just think about the worries of a puzzle which has a number of rules and only one possible solution. That's what we're doing here on Cracking the Cryptic um, when we're not doing Wordle or streaming or uh, preparing Patreon rewards for you. Do have a look at the brilliant Alice in Sudoku Land on our Patreon channel. It's a fantastic Sudoku hunt by uh, the Paint by Numbers Institute, Japanese Sum Sudoku. It's great fun. Now, I watched Simon have a go at a between lines puzzle yesterday, and I was a bit jealous. Um, but we've been sent one by Allergem, and I think it is could be Allergem. It is definitely a debut for Allergem or Allergem, and they are very welcome to join the ranks of constructors on the channel. Allergem is a PhD in their own field, but this is their first attempt at creating a puzzle to send to us. So we're delighted with that. And uh, yeah, there's between lines all over this and together with some German whispers. So we'll look at that in a moment. Now, what else on Patreon? Well, there's always other things there, but there's our apps as well. Do check them out. Um, next one will be line Sudoku. So these are two of the possible lines that could be in it. That's not the next one. The next one will be the Gas 2 app. The line Sudoku will be the next new style app that we haven't done. But uh, we're quite some way off having that fully tested and ready to go. So um, Gas 2 will be the next one, genuinely approachable Sudoku. Now, what else have we got? That's probably it. That's probably enough about other things around the channel, do check out everything. Subscribe to the channel. Go on, do that at least. Do yourself a favor and uh, line up one or two videos a week if that's all you want to watch. Now, let's have a look at the rules. So we're good. we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So that's going to be the numbers one to nine in every row, column, and three by three box. Hurrah. Now, along gray lines, digits along gray lines, between two circles must have values between those two circles. So if that was a three and that was a six, well, these two would have to be four and five. Um, they could have been the same if that didn't break Sudoku rules, but that's what the between lines rule means. Um, adjacent digits on a green line, so any neighboring digits on a green line have a difference of five or more. So that could be one and six or one and nine, but not three and seven. Um, now we've got three other markings in the grid to look at. So cells separated by the white dot are consecutive, cells separated by the black dot have a one to two ratio, and that digit is bigger than that digit. And maybe apart from the inequality sign, if you watch us regularly on the channel at all, you'll know about the black and white dot. They're not that weird. If you're new to the channel, you'll go, that's a very strange rule to put in. But there we go. That is what is required by Allergem to create this puzzle. And we are going to use it. And we're going to try and solve. We get one given digit, of course, a five as well. Um, do give it a try on the first link under the video. No idea about the difficulty myself, but I am going to start the puzzle now. Let's get cracking. So... Um, I'm going to start evoking, invoking the things I know about German whisper lines. And there are, even though there aren't very many cells covered by German whisper lines here, ah, they are useful, yes. Um, there are three things I know. One is that five can never go on a German whispers line because its neighbors couldn't be close, couldn't be far enough away. Secondly, the corollary of that is that the numbers on a German whisper line alternate between higher than five and lower than five to maintain the difference. And if we color those here in, say, green and purple, that means that we must alternate. I don't know whether green is high or whether purple is high, but we must alternate like that. I mean, I, yeah, I could do the same on the others. I'm going to just to see basically what happens. If we do blue and yellow there, no, let's do blue and what color? Orange. Blue contrasts well with orange. I was a bit hurt by a comment from somebody colorblind who said we just pay lip service to colorblind people. We don't actually investigate what colors uh, they can't see the other day. Um, 
we, we do pay a lot of attention to the comments people make about that. So I'm sorry if we let you down the other day. Now, this is exciting here because both on both sides of the grid, Oh, there is a third thing I could mention about the green lines. It may not matter much in this puzzle, but four and six cannot go in positions where their neighbours see each other. I mean, if you imagine putting a four here, its only possible neighbour on a German whisper line is nine. So they would end up seeing each other impossibly there. So those three, that and that, actually those two... None of those places can be four or six, but I'm not going to pencil mark that. I'm going to instead look at the fact that the green between lines here, sorry, that the circles which are linked by this line are in the same range. They're either both high or both low. And that is very telling because imagine they're one and four. Well, these two digits must be two and three, and that must be two or three. So... Yeah, these are kind of, okay, hmm, I don't know how to mark this really. These are from, they're either a 1-4 pair with 2-3 here, or they're a 6-9 pair with 7-8 there. Now, we can't have 7 on a black dot. This on the other side of the black dot is now 1-4 or 6. Um, now, the green 4 or 6 must link to a purple extreme digit, a 1 or a 9. So, hmm, if green, the green digits here were 4 and 1, no, it's more important if they were 6 and 9. Then there would be a 1 here. This would be an 8, and that would be a 4. Yeah, it works fine. Okay. Um, but these are definitely green, actually. I've only just realized that. They are from the same group of either high or low digits. So this cell, which sees now all four green digits and five, so it must be colored, that must be purple. Uh, and I was going to start alternating that on this line, but this is not an alternating line. This is a between line line. Okay, I can do the same this side. Those go blue. That goes orange. But I haven't managed to relate blue, orange, and green, purple. Now, in this row, if they were all the same color, that would use all four of them. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Um, hmm. I think I'm probably not meant to focus on these things too much at the moment. I don't know. I can't see how it helps to keep looking at them, but I might be missing something. What's this? Oh, this is still green. Oh, that is interesting. So if that's... Oh, no, now I'm totally... Oh, I see. Yes, if that was one and four, that would be a two. Hang on, how can that work? This suddenly looks impossible to me now. Am I wrong in my whole thinking? Surely on this green line, they must alternate. That must be a one and four to allow... Oh, yes, I am being so dense. I'm thinking of this green line as a grey line. Okay, that's fine. So green is... Well, green doesn't have to be one, four, six or nine at all, does it? Sorry, I've, I've lost my mind briefly there. Having having very having earlier tried to think about that grey line like a green line for a moment, now I thought very hard about that green line being a grey line. I mean, it's not as if I can't tell the difference between a thick green line and a thin grey line. I can. I'm just not being very smart. Ah, OK, here's something interesting. These, yellow and red, 
They're all different, but they don't include one or nine, which can never go on a between line. Right. Because these circles have to be more extreme than these cells. Now, that's going to mean that this isn't one or nine. It also can't be four or six. So that, again, is two, three, seven or eight, the same mix of digits we have here. Now, if it's a two, it's coming in between two high digits, which can't be six. Again, these cells cannot have a six in. That was an important deduction. The two high digits couldn't have a nine in because they're on the gray line. So if it's a two, it's between seven and eight. If it's a in fact, these have to be 7 and 8. They can't be 4 or 6, and they can't be 1 or 9. So if they're high, they're definitely 7, 8. If they're low, they're 2, 3. This now can't actually be 3 or 7. If it was a 3, it would be touching a 7 in one of these cells. And if it was a 7, it would be touching a 3. Ah, OK, so this is now 2 or 8. And one of these is an extreme red digit. The other, actually, if that's, yes, if that's a 2, the other digit from 2, 8 will be in those cells. And if that's an 8, the other digit from uh, 3, 2 will be in those cells. So these now have to be a 1, 9 pair. That's really weird. That's really weird because in this row, every other digit features, not 1 and 9, but every other digit features on the same line. And I think that's got to mean the ends of the line, the, the circle cells, have to be 2 and 8 so that we can fit in 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 along them. These cells are also from 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Right, that's interesting. So now, one of these is 2 and one of them is 8. Then this is again not going to be 4 or 6, but now it could be 1 or 9. Oh, OK. I mean, I'm learning bits about this puzzle as we go. It's very interesting. Now, in this column, we've got four orange digits and a five somewhere. I don't know how that helps. I mean, the same is true over here. We've got four greens and or rather, sorry, in these cells I've highlighted, we've got three purples and a five. But I don't know how to use that. Um, this is the same polarity as this. It's not, well, it's obviously not two or eight then for various reasons. One, because two and eight have both been used there. And one, because that colour of 2 and 8 has been used there. This can't be 4 or 6. I'm not going to pencil mark in 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9 for this digit. I think that's just too, too much, too unnecessary. Um, I need to have another insight into this puzzle. Those are from... They are 2 and 8 and either 3 or 7. So these, which are the same colour as 2 or 8, I don't know, they could involve 4 or 6. They could even involve 1 and 9 because they could be disposed to oppose the 1 or 9 that's placed there. Ah, oh, but they've got the whisper rule. And we've got a digit in these cells. This is either a 2-3 pair or a 7-8 pair. Now, I mustn't think of this green line as a between line. What does that mean? One of them is a 3. And must be sitting... Well, no, one of them is either a 3 or a 7. Say it was a 3, it must be sitting between 8 and a 9 on one of the branches. 
Similarly, seven would be sitting between a two and a one. The other one would be eight in that case, and that would be sitting between a two and what could now no longer be a one and would be a three. So these, yeah, these are a pair that don't involve four and six because they can't, because these can't have one or nine in. So these are complete either the one, two, three set or the seven, eight, nine set. And now in these cells, we've used one of one, nine, all of two, three, eight, seven. And these remaining ones are from four, six, one and nine. One of these is one and nine and is forming a pair with that. I don't know which side that's happening on. Hmm. Now, just as over here, we had one, four, six, nine there. I mean, that's the same over this side, actually. Oh, no, I was going to say that's going to now tell me um, that these can't be the same color, but it's not. As long as those were the same digit and those were the same digit, blue could be green still. That's a bit surprising, quite interesting. Now, these can't be four or six. Hmm. Uh, is there a way of relating those to these? I don't think there is yet. Now, we've got two blue and two green along here. Can they be the same? I have a feeling they're not the same. How could they be the same? Well, say they were all high. You would have maybe six there, eight there, nine there, seven there. And these remaining cells would be one, two, three, four, five... No, oh, that is possible. I don't see why that's not possible. Is there anything not possible here? If this was one, two, that would be eight. That would have to be three. And that would be nine. It seems feasible. If it was four, eight, that would be two. This would be seven or nine. That could be one or three. No, that's not interesting. If it was six, three, all bets are off. I don't know. Okay. Um, this digit in box five, that must appear on this line because it can't be in those cells None of these are pencil marked with 28 as a possibility. So that digit is in one of these two. Then in row five, it's in a circle. Hmm. No, it doesn't help explain which one it is. I can't see anything doing that. So on the side of the grid where we've got a 1-9 pair here, this is 2, 3, 7 or 8. Another fairly familiar group of possible cells. And then its counterpart in this box would be here. Then its counterpart would be in one of these two. I don't know, that's not... That's not getting it done. Right, I'm missing something here. Two and eight must be used there. I knew that. I've considered these cells before and they didn't really help me. This white dot? 
That's two or eight, and it can't involve a five. No, it's not helpful yet. I don't believe it. This was about the only concrete thing I really got going. That was going to be either be one and four, or six and nine. Now, if this was six and nine, there'd be a one here. Green would be high, so we'd have seven, eight, six and nine there, or one in one of these cells. Green would be high, so that would be an eight, and this would be a four. This would be two. I don't know, I was quite pleased with this deduction in the middle row, but it didn't really lead to anything that I can see. Um, these are obviously different polarity. And that means these are different polarity and these are different polarity. Now, does that translate into the polarity here? Oh, that would be very interesting if it did. I don't think it does. Unless we could rule that these, if we could rule that those two can never be the same polarity, if they were the same polarity, oh, it does get very interesting. Ah, okay, I've, I've, I'm on to something here. Look what happens if these were the same, if... Okay, let's imagine that green and blue, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't, I can't quite get my head around this. If these were the same polarity as each other, Again, they'd be either a 1-4 pair or a 6-9 pair with the other digits in between them. Right, this doesn't work. If these were the same polarity as each other, these would all be purple. I'll just show you how this is working. That would go purple. That would go green. That's not important. What's important is this column. Because you can't put purple here because you've got four purples in the box. You can't put green because you've got four greens in the column. That would become a five. Now, all well and good so far, those would be purple to make up the column. And nothing has broken, actually, yet. However, however, it's going to break over the other side because this cell can't be a five now. So that also can't be blue because it sees four blues. That would be orange. Now, this cell can't be orange because there would then have to be five oranges in the box. So that is non-orange, that is blue. That would make this blue and this orange. Um, all of these in the column, these would now be different. So you could put a five in. Oh, maybe this isn't impossible. I thought this was impossible. Oh, bother. Okay, sorry. Now it's just a bifurcation, which I do not want to do. I thought I had worked out how that was impossible, and maybe I haven't. Okay, I'm going to need to go more slowly. I will find something better, actually. Let's, let's be blunt. Oh, that's interesting. I still think there's an awful lot of pressure on if this is purple. Because then those are all purple. That has to be a five. These are purple. It's very interesting. It's very tight. It's not... It's not easy to see how it works or whether it's falsified. And I don't think I can keep 
playing on the basis that I could work that out, actually. That's quite strange, but... Hmm. Now, we do know these two are different. So if just one of them was the same as its other end, then the other would be... I don't know. I can't really relate it to that. Because I haven't related blue and orange down in the bottom four rows to green and purple down there. So, no, I haven't quite understood this yet. My... Need to do some better, clearer thinking about it somehow. Okay, now I'm thinking about where one and nine go in row six. And they can't go in these cells and they can't go in box five. So they must go in these four cells. Now, if you had a one or a nine there, Wouldn't that stop? No, maybe not. No, I can't now. I can't quite see the way through that fog either. Okay, let's imagine green is high because that's the thing that's restricted here. Then this is a six nine pair. That's seven eight. Now importantly, this is eight. This is two. That's also low, and that's low. Um, yes, now this only works if this is high, because if it's low, that can be a 3, and this can still be a 2. Right, let's think about this still, though. Assuming green is high with a 6, 7, 8, 9 here, and an 8 here. Um, and a four here. Now, two is low, so that's purple. That's purple because of the alternation. They're all purple because of the between line here. So if green is high, that is a five, and they are purple and low. Mm. It does just work, but it, it is very pressured over this side of the grid because that can't be a seven. Oh, hang on, hang on. If green is an eight, that's a four, but... No, I was going to say, but one of these is a 9, and isn't that connecting to a 4? No, it's not necessarily. That's fine. 9 doesn't have to connect to a 4. No, that doesn't work either. Wow, this is very, very tricky for me. Um, 1 and 9 in the central column? You don't quite have to put either of them on this white dot, because you could have one there and one there. Almost very interesting and powerful, but not quite. These. So one of them isn't extreme. Because it must see a 1-9 pair above. One of these two must therefore, I think, be 2, 3, 7 or 8, whichever one that is. And that must be touching hmm, two extreme digits. No, not necessarily. Wow, okay, I'm struggling to see a way through this. I mean, I'm, I'm, I 
I want to persevere because it is very interesting and it's it's a very weird puzzle in a way. Maybe I should have immediately been able to see some relationship between these four cells. But I don't see why they couldn't be the same polarity yet. Or do I? This would be a pair of either 2, 3, or 7, 8, if that was the case. So this would then be a group, if green was blue, of 1, 2, 3, 4, or 6, 7, 8, 9. Gosh, I just can't quite see a way through this. I haven't made a useful deduction since this 2-8 bit, have I? And if, if, well, I suppose no deduction is useful unless it proves useful, and I haven't made that prove useful yet. So I really need to come up with something slightly new at this point. Now, here's something I didn't think about much. One of those is 1 or 9, but the other is a red 3 or 7. And that can't be touching a yellow 3 or 7 here. So the red 3 or 7 is touching the yellow 2 or 8. And that means the red 1 or 9 on the other side of the grid is touching the yellow 3 or 7. God, I don't know what good that is. Oh, it's such a strange puzzle. Um, the only two disambiguators between the right-hand side and the left-hand side are those two. Now, should I be able to tell something about the colours the, as relates to blue of all these cells? So those two can't be blue. They're either five or orange. Ah, where do these two orange cells go in this box? Only one of them can be on that line at a maximum. So the other one or two of them must be here. I don't know what that does. Wow, no, I have not have not come up with any useful breakthroughs yet in this. Um, and we're half an hour in. This is very disappointing. Right, come on, think again. If blue and green... Oh, it, yes, okay, finally. It's that simple. I mean, this is part of what I've been saying earlier. Blue and green have to be different because of this row, because not one of them could be a four or a six. All of their neighbours see each other. So if they were all the same colour, they'd have to be... It would be impossible to fill these four cells. It's that simple, honestly. Oh, you may have been shouting that for quite some time. So at least we have reduced blue and orange to green and purple. Now, these are now the... No, I've done it entirely the wrong way around. I've, brilliant, brilliant. You're a genius. Um, it's the other way around, isn't it? Those are purple because they're different so that we don't get the four cells in row eight being the same. That is correct. Okay, so those go green. Right, so these two are different. Now, that is unsurprising, but it's it's nice to prove it. But these two are different. Right, that's good. That's good now because these can't both be five. What am I talking about? What I'm talking about is if you put green here and here, I'll just show you this. If you put green there and there and purple on that side, 
this wouldn't work because those two would go purple, those two would go green. You are in this column, this cell, can't be any of green because it sees all four in the box, can't be any of purple because it sees all four in the column and must be five. And exactly the same would be true over here. This cell sees all four purple and all four green and must also be five. And now you've got clashing fives. So that is not the way around that purple and green are in these on these German whisper lines. We've got green over that side instead. No, I've just done it again. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. Purple over there and there, green in the other cells. And these involve one high and one low, which gives them a lot more freedom to operate as between lines. Um, now, we've got three of the purples here. Those two must appear in these cells and they must be... Is that right that those two... Yeah, they are two of these four digits and they're not the one four six or nine digits they're the two three seven or eight digits so they must be the same as these which are a pair of either two three or seven eight that's actually obvious from from what they are but never mind um so this and over this side it's true as well are from one four six or nine because they're seeing a pair of the same color that are the interior digits in the sequence um, up here, we're in, you know, no idea, but those, I was going to say, are they likely to be four or six? I mean, I don't see why they either should or shouldn't be particularly. And they're different now. Does that help looking at this box? I don't think so. Once we've applied yellow and red, as either purple or green will have three of one color and two of the other. Um, it's got to be a five somewhere there and a five somewhere here. Don't know what that does. Hmm, what next? What next? What next? This is either green or five, this cell. As is this. And this is either purple or five. Hmm, I was starting to wonder where that cell goes in box nine, but there are two possibles. I don't think I can relate the colours I've done to these cells yet. Um, I've got three purples done in column one and four in column two. The ones in column three, there can be a maximum of one there, the purples this is, a maximum of one there, so a minimum of two purples in these cells, which translates as a minimum of two greens over this side. That doesn't get anything done, I don't think. Right, let us posit that green is high, again, because this is the restricted place. This would be an eight. And this would be an eight, seven pair. This would be a two. This would then be seven or nine. Hang on. These are the same color. That's right. This is this was correct. These can't this can't be an eight because that's the same color. It would also have to be an eight. Oh, honestly, 
I've been thinking the right things and just not actually applying them. These are the same. So there are two, three pair and we know which one is two and we finally get a digit in the grid after 36 minutes because I've been so slow. Right, uh, much more importantly, I know that green is low now. Wow, it takes a while, doesn't it? So let's try and get this right now. Green is low, so purple is high. So that's an eight. That's a seven. This is an eight, seven pair. Okay. These can't have three or seven in. I wonder if I could have worked that out earlier. I don't know, maybe. Six, nine, seven, eight. This is high and these are low. That's low. No, these are they're not helpful things at all. Three and two are a pair there and there. Three and seven. I don't think there's any need for those two to be one interior and one extreme digit. Don't think that applies particularly. Um, but I probably do need to know something about how the interior and the extreme digits work in these patterns that I'm getting. I'm certainly not really understanding it yet. Now, these lines, I don't know. One is high, one is low. One of them seeing a one nine pair above, but the other isn't. Um, or not necessarily. That purple cell is in one of these three in box nine and one of these three in box three. Now, is there something else I have to do to stop these both being fives again? No, not really. That that only mattered when I knew that these were going to be coloured if those were the same as each other, and they're not now. So that difference is going to take its toll somewhere. Oh, these can't have a 7 in. These can't have a 3 in. I might as well mark that. Um, so if that was a 4, the 4 on... Well, there would be a four in one of those one of those three cells. That's not useful. This is one, two, or three. I might as well pencil mark that. This is seven, eight, or nine. Hmm. Oh, one of these is a six, so one of these two is a one. And one of these is a four, so one of these two is a nine. That's going to mean nine is in one of these cells, one is in one of these two, and it can't be there because of the inequality sign. Good Lord, so that is a one. And there's a one in one of those two, one of these two is a one. One, eight, seven. So two can't be there now because one can't be there. So two is in one of these two cells and one of these three and one of those three. And that probably doesn't get anything done. I can't see how it, how it would really, but still quite interesting about this inequality cell because in fact that now sees a six nine seven eight combo and one and it can't be two so that's five four or three this is lower and is two three or four and that can now have a color which is green The remaining purple in this box is in one of these three cells. If it's in one of those two, it's a six. 
Otherwise, this is a 6-9 pair. That would be a very interesting 6-9 pair because it would make this a 4-5 pair. That would be a 1. You'd have 2 and 8 in these cells and now I'd have a 2-8 pair in the column. Hmm, possible. No more than possible at the moment. Again, none of these can be purple because they see all the purple cells. But that could be a five, which is very irritating. If either of the... Oh, these don't involve a 2, so they're from 1, 3, and 4. Now, if either of them was a 4, we'd have 9 there, 1 there, non-extreme there, then 1 and 9 here. These don't have to include any greens, annoyingly. Didn't at some point I work out that there were at least two greens in those cells? I, it doesn't look like that's possible now. I thought I'd come up with a conclusion a bit like that, but obviously not. Maybe it should have been a maximum one. Oh, I think I was working on purples, wasn't I? There had to be at least two purples, yeah. That does still make a lot of sense. Now, we've got a very few digits in the grid. How am I meant to use the others? Um, okay, one is in one of those two cells. So, if it's there, that's a four and that's a nine. If that's a one, then that's a one. I don't see it. I don't see how to put a 1-9 in one of those reds either. I don't know what colour red and yellow are vis-a-vis -vis purple and green. I've got a 9 in one of those cells, probably. Yes, that's because there's 9 in one of those. So there's 9 in one of those, 9 in one of those two. So there must be a 9 Oops, in one of this pair of cells. So if there's a 9 there, there's a 9 there. Alternatively, there's 1 here. And no further information accrues. Eight and seven must be in that group of cells. Doesn't mean either of them have to be on the line, sadly. Ooh, if that was seven or eight, we've got two, three, seven, eight, triple. It would have to be a red seven, in fact. Oh, this can't be an eight because there is a two eight pair along here. I'd forgotten that. Um, two eight six nine seven. So that is one, three, four, or five. This also can't be a two. So two is now confined into those cells. And we've got a 2 there and a 2 there. 2, 3 are up here. But 2 is in one of those two cells. Can't be there because of the known 2, 8 pair. 3, however, could branch into that cell. Hmm... about this. One of these two is one or nine. Why can't I use R? Ah, whichever one is one or nine is a yellow one because red one or nine is forming a pair in the columns. Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't know that one of these is one or nine, do I? I know that only a maximum of one of them could be. And that one would be a yellow one or nine. Oh, do I know the... 
colouring of these? No, because I don't know which one of these is a 1 or 9. Whichever one is a 1 or 9, the cell beneath it is a yellow 1 or 9. That's not helpful enough. Ah, oh, still stumbling around in the dark. Um, if that was a 4, this would be a 9. And if that was a six, this would be a one. Indeed, one is one in, in one of these three cells in the column. And is there a corollary to that here? No, there isn't. That's weird. Oh, two is also in one of those cells, and one's in one of the three. For that to be, that isn't high. That is definitely low, because six or nine is high, and that is high. Right. I mean, that's... Not intelligent pencil marking, but it is pencil marking. Um, if this was four, that would have to be nine, and that would be five. Nine, five, two, eight. That would become six or seven. Ah, I cannot see what to do at all. Um, right, come on, Mark. Eight, seven pair, eight, seven pair. If that was seven or eight, this would have to be nine. Gosh, I really can't see a way through this thing. Okay, if that was one, that would be the one on the right hand side. Oh, I've got a three there, so I know this is a six. Isn't that sad that I just can't see ordinary? Whisper rules. So these are from seven, eight, nine. Is that that's not vaguely interesting, is it? Two, three, two, three, six down here. Um, that cell, green one or four, must be in one of those two. That is interesting, isn't it? No, I thought for a moment it meant this couldn't be a 1 or a 4. Well, it can't, can it? It can't be a 4. Because those would both be 9s. So this is 1, 2 or 3. Now, is there a reason it can't be 1? don't think it's obvious to me. Now, we would have the 9 here, 1 there. That would be 9. Oh, I don't know. And then this couldn't be 9 and would have to be 7 or 8. So if that's a 1, that's not 9. And similarly, if that's a 9, that's not 1. It's parallel either way. But what does it mean? If that's a 1, then the 1 in row 7 is there, which fixes that as a 6. Alternatively, if that's a 9, that's a 9, that has to be 4. Gosh, it's really very difficult to see a way through this now.
So now I'm looking at the top corners, just wondering, is there something going on? So that sees 2, 3, 6, and 5. It's theoretically 1, 4, 7, 8, or 9. I don't... It's not really... I don't think any of those are proved one way or the other. If that's 4, this is 9. Four nine two three six. So I've got one five eight and seven to go. Uh, that would if that's four, three and two can't be on the line, so they'd be in these cells. One, if that's four, one would have to be here, and otherwise it's a one. So one is in one of those three cells. I think that'll probably work this side as well. If that's a six. Then that's a 7-8 pair. And then 9 in the box is going to have to be in one of those. Yeah, OK, that works. So we've got a 1 somewhere here. Now one of these two is a 1. And one of those two. But you could still have a 1 here if you needed to. You'd kind of know where a lot of the other ones in the grid are going at that point. But I don't think it's actually impossible to work it out. Oh, this can't be a one. Obviously, it's on a between line. Honestly, why have I even written that in? <sighs> so, does that make this a one, two pair? That can't be a six. Yes, it does. This is three, four, five, triple. That's so weird. How have I not spotted that either? That's a one, two pair. I suspect this is a nine, eight pair for some. Oh, no, it's not. This works because of the inequality over here. Right. That is three, four or five. That doesn't do anything for me. Whichever way around these one, two pair are, these are quite easy to fill, I think. How about the three, four, five triple? That doesn't look very interesting either. Oh, yeah, OK. I've got a one X wing between there and there. So those can't be a one. And we get a one in the circle, which is very unhelpful, but it is true. It's unhelpful because it gives all the possible freedom those two cells would, would need. Doesn't determine ones in the rest of the boxes in columns using columns seven and eight. Doesn't resolve any of these ones. Two is easy to put there because one wouldn't be trying to get on its line. I mean, there is a sort of 2x wing, but it's not one I need. I already knew there was a 2, 8 pair in these cells. 2, 8, 1. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9 still to plant. So that one is 5, 6, 7, or 9. I want to say these are all green, but that's not true because one of them's a five. That's green. I mean, I can do that, but is that really going to get me anywhere? I doubt it very much. Um, or is it? No, it's not. I was wondering if it had to be a one because that would put one in one of those cells and that would have to be a one but no if that was a two there's a two in one of these three and then that can be a two so either because of that either that's a one or that's a two I don't see that that helps. One, two, three, six. So I am really faffing around in the foothills of this puzzle at the moment. 
I know that, but I'm finding it very difficult. I just am. Um, come on, let's keep persevering, see if we can see a way through eventually. Because a lot of the things that I eventually saw weren't that hard to understand. It was just a matter of spotting greens going with purples and vice versa. Um, Yeah, I mean, I want to say something like, if that's purple, it can't be purple six or nine, because that's already there, but that's just nonsense. Purple six and purple nine can perfectly happily coexist. Two. If that's a two, one of those is a two. Then we're going to end up with a two here which is of no use at all. Wow, this is very tricky. Allergem, you are very cruel to me. Um, so that's eventually done a bit of work, but not very much. Two, three, four, five, six, and nine. These two cells, they just don't seem very helpful. Um, I suppose if this was a three, that would be an eight, nine pair. You'd know where two and three went here. I cannot see what's going on. Ah, oh, okay, here's a thought. If that was a four, making that a nine, then these would be a five, six pair, and that would be a nine. That would make this a six and that a one. And that doesn't work. That's absolutely extraordinary. Right, if that was a four, that would be a one. You'd have a five, six pair here, nine here, six here. That would be a one. So that is not a four. That is the one. This is the four end of this line. Now, it must work the other way around. If this was a six, you'd have a nine here, four, five pair here, in fact, that four has given us a nine here. That's what it's done. So that's made this a six and this a nine. It is just ordinary, like, German whisper and between lines Sudoku. And I just can't do it. Six has to be next to one. That's the sort of thing I'm just not seeing quickly. This is not a one. Right, now. That is three or four, so this can't be seven. This is seven or eight, so this can't be three. No, it can be three. Three and four are a different kettle of fish. It's the fact that that can't be two that matters here. Interesting. Seven, nine, one, three. So two, four, five, six, and eight across the middle. How about across the bottom? Four, nine, one, six, and there's a five there. So this is two, three, seven, or eight. Doesn't look very limiting on this cell. Even though it's been a useful combination of digits elsewhere when I've eventually understood why. Oh, we've got a one, just ordinary Sudoku. One, one, that's a one. That's gonna stop this being a one. Now there's a two, three pair here. So if one of these was one or nine, it's definitely this one. But that's not that's not the way I'm looking at this yet. Uh, we get a one in one of those cells. So maybe there is just more Sudoku. So there must be a four in column nine in one of those two. Six, seven, eight, one, two somewhere here. There must be a six somewhere in those three. 
four, one, two, three, six. That's low, isn't it? I might as well keep colouring. I don't know how I ended up with green and purple for low and high. I really was meant to be focusing on uh, on blue and orange as low and high, and I've just forgotten, but that doesn't matter. We'll carry on with, with the colour scheme I've got now. Um, for that to be eight, that would be three. Oh, it's a seven, eight pair here. That's unexpected and unnoticed before. Seven, eight, six, one. Hmm. Doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> Another useless bit of information. Uh don't have any digits that this can't be apart from the five and the one it sees. Actually, this can't be a... Oh, look, it sees a one, two, three triple. So that can't be one, two, three, or five. So now this can't be two. Okay, that's a tiny, tiny advance. If it's a three, it goes with a four there. It also forces a two here. And you get three, two. If that's a three, that's a three, and that's a four, and that's a nine. Then seven would have to be on this white circle. These are from five, seven, and eight. It doesn't feel like that's going to help me. Um, that can't be a four. One, two, three, four here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine in the rest of the column. Hmm. If that was a seven. It would have to sit there as well. Oh, in fact, three is now in one of these two cells. Is it for the row? No, that's not necessarily true. I thought it was, but that could be three. And one of those three is seven. Oh, maybe I need to narrow this down. Or maybe I just need to do some Sudoku's. Um... That two, three pair was a bit surprising. We've got the one, the four in the row. Well, if it's in one of those cells, that's a three. But it could be there. Oh. Okay, if that's the four, that's a three and that's a two. If four is one of these three cells, these two cells, that's a three. That's a two, that's a three, and again, this is a two. So either way round, whether four is here or in one of these two cells in row eight, that is a two. That makes this a three and that's a two. Now there's a two here by Sudoku. There's a three in one of those two cells and somewhere across the bottom of the grid um, and that didn't get... Oh, that two. Right. That stops this being a two. Now, one of these pair of cells is, is a two. But if it's that, that's a three. And if it's that... Then yellow is a seven, eight pair, none the wiser apart from that information. Ah.
if this red cell was an 8, there's an 8 in one of those cells and an 8 there. Six must be in one of those two, I've just noticed. Ah, six is in one of those three. No, it's not. Six is there and there. Oh, the six in this row, that's just writable in. Six there, this must now be seven. Okay, this is not six or seven. It's low, is that any help? It's not. It's not, it's nothing to do. That's not a six. Okay got that come on six seven five let's look up this row these can't be from one nine so the one nine in the column are now there and there um so i am going to restore the corner mark that's a one nine so these are from two three four eight Seven is on one of those two cells and in one of these two and therefore not here. Um, seven is in one of those two. It's definitely also in one of... Isn't it in one of these two? No, it's either in one of these two or one of these two. Yes, it depended on whether... Yeah, there's a 2-8 pair here and either 3 or 7 in yellow. Then the red 3 or 7 is up here. So one of those is a 7 and one of these is a 7. And that teaches me very little. can't even say that 8 isn't on one of those lines as well. I don't think I can anyway. Well, that's red. So these three cells are two yellows and a red. No. No, they're two red. Well, if red is a eight these are three yellows and then they'd all be green oh it's doing my head in badly now two six seven eight pair that can't be a nine or a one that is three four or five So one and nine are both in this row. One of them being there. Ah, and that's not a nine. Is that right? That can't be a nine because of nine up there? Yes. Okay, so that's not a nine now. That's an eight. And that's not eight, therefore. Eight's in one of those cells. And two's in one of those and that doesn't tell, I mean, I always knew that was two or eight. No, that doesn't resolve anything up there. Um, but eight there can't be sitting next to a four on the whisper. So that's a three. And those aren't threes. One of those two is a three, and that's not. Let's just pencil mark that. Um, that's not a three as well. That is four or five. In this box, we have, oh, that's where nine is now. In fact, that's been available for ages. That's part of a four or five pair. This is now a three, six, nine triple at the top. Uh, useless, helpless, rubbish, three, six, nine triple. No, where does three go in this row? Oh, well, we don't know. It could be there or it could be in a yellow cell. Um, oh, that eight, though, is looking at seven, eight, seven there. This is now a five, eight pair. That becomes a nine. This is a four, seven pair at the top. We can take seven as a candidate out of those cells. One, two, three, four. This can't be seven either. So 
painfully slow. That's not a nine. Where's six? Six in this box is in one of those two cells. Oh, that five eight pair has been done. That does the four five pair on the other side. This is a five and a three that I don't know the order of. This is a one four nine triple at the top. Oh, come on, are we are we beginning to approach a solution to this puzzle? Maybe not. Maybe I'm still a long way away. Right, one nine three. So we know three's there. Seven one nine. So that's not where seven is. This is seven. One, two, three, seven, nine. So that's not a one. These are from four, five, six, eight, and that one can't be four. Similarly, five, six, eight, or nine. Now I haven't really thought about these pairs. But can I stop this being a six at least? No, because that could be five. Three is either here or here. Now, if that was four, this would be five, three, six, two. Four, six, two, five, seven, eight up there and a four here. There's no problem again with that. It's absolutely bizarre that I haven't managed to establish the colors of yellow and red. Um, I just don't think it's obvious. I really don't. Um, maybe this being green helped in some way. Oh, I could do a lot of coloring down here. Seven, eight, six, seven, nine. They can all go purple. Two, four, five can all go green. No, they can't. Five can't. Mm, four, seven pair here. That's not five. So five in row two is in one of those three places. I don't think it's difficult for five to be on the between lines annoyingly. Crikey, this is taking a long time today. Maybe I'm just totally out of form. It's not impossible. Um, two, seven, one, nine, eight. We've got three, four, five, and six. So one of those two is a six. I do not know how that can possibly help as a thought. That being one or nine? Yes. The only places for four and six in this box are here. So that's not six, and more importantly, this isn't four. That's a seven in the corner. And that's not a seven. Um, that four sees a four in one of those and a four in one of these two. Disappointingly not conclusive. Yes, and I got this by noting that there was a one nine pair in that row. So that's a two, one at the top. Um, and that's not a nine. And the nine in this column can't be on the line. So it's there in the circle. So that's a very unhelpful one nine pair. Um, but nine is there. And nine in row three is there, also unhelpful. This is now a three six pair. In fact, there's a four six pair there that tells me that's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light losing its religion. Nine two eight one no three six two one nine. So we've got four five seven and eight. That one sees a four five and a seven in the row. God, that's a two. Remove the pencil marks. Two nine seven four one three five six. 
I mean, every advance, like these lines are both useless now, so I can't use anything off them. So one nine pair there, six two, one nine four, that is five or seven, and that is three, five or eight. In this row, two and eight have been used there. So that is obviously four, five, or seven, two, eight, nine, one, four, seven, that is three, five, or six. Sheesh, still nothing like finished here. Could do a bit more coloring. I don't see how it's really going to help me anymore, but I'm a bit committed to it now. So we'll carry on with that. There we go. It's all about this between line for me now. But again, it's a one nine between line. As long as I don't try and put one and nine on it, then I'm obeying the rules. There must be a four in one of those cells and a four in one of those, and that's an X-wing. So there's no four in those cells or indeed in these, but that's now a five, six pair. So that's not five or six. We've got two, four and eight to place in the row. That's not a six. So six is here in the box and not here in the row. So one of those is a six. I don't know which. Still the puzzle won't give up. We've got a five, six and a one, nine pair. Um, so we've got two, three, four, eight and seven to place generally in the central box. Oh, that's become a two, four pair thanks to this inequality. Yes. So that's a five, seven pair at the top. This is a four. That's now a three, five pair. Um, that four doesn't, let's get rid of the corner marks there. That four doesn't look across anywhere. Mm. <laughs> Nor does the two, oh, we've got a, now I've had that two there for ages. I know one of those is a two, one of these is an eight. I know all that. So let's look at this row then. One, nine, one of those is a six. Five has to be not in the central box. So it's in one of those three places. Eight, six, that's a five, six pair. I don't know what's going on that. Between line, it's not really doing anything. One of those, oops, one of those two is a two. No, I don't know what to do. Okay, if that was a four, which seems unlikely, we've got a four, five pair here. Then that has to be a six, eight pair. Then you get four, five. I'm still, even at this stage, a little surprised this has a unique solution. It just doesn't seem to quite have enough clues to do that. Um, but maybe that inequality is more powerful than I realized. Okay, the other way to look at this is if that's a three, then that's a two. Then this is a five, that's a four. My goodness, I cannot see the way through this. In this central column, two, three, four, eight, one of those two is a three. So is one of those two. That's just an ordinary X-wing. So, okay, let's go back to this red and yellow business. One way round it goes, Well, these 
involve two and eight. No, but I just don't know what the other is. The other is either a three. The other is either a three here. Oh, this can't be a seven anymore. Because that can't be eight. Oh, that's a way of looking at it. And this, there's one of these that this can't be. If that was a three, this would be impossible. So that's two or seven. So which way round doesn't work? Eight to seven. Um, this couldn't be three, seven or nine. That would have to be a one. So we'd have a one, seven pair here. Nine, four, six, five, three, two. The alternative is a three nine pair this side, one five six four. This doesn't work. My goodness, for this to be a three, that's a nine. Five one four, and then that sells impossible. Wow. Okay, so that's not a three. That is the eight instead. Now I can just fill this in. Seven, one, that's a three, that's nine. I mean, that is absolutely monstrous. Or oh, I'm just not very bright today. That's become a two, seven pair, which we can fill in. Two, seven, that now is a four, which we means we use the inequality sign finally two there. This is not a four, nor is that. In fact, those aren't fives. So this is three, four on the line there. That's a five. That's a four. That's an eight. I think it's all working, but it's really taken an awful long time to get there. Three, five, six, five, six, four. That is not four. This is four, that's nine. This is one, that's nine. Five, oops, five and seven was what I was trying to do. That's a six, that's a three, eight, five, eight, six. I'll put that in in a moment once I have uh, colored reds and greens properly. Reds are lows, which for some reason I'm doing is green. Yellows are purples, which are high. Oh, shall I colour off the rest of the digits? All right, all right, I will. All right, let's let's be a bit completionist today. I don't always do it, but I'm doing it today. Those ones go purple, and indeed that one goes purple. Um, four, two, three, one remainings go green. Just forgive me if I've made an error somewhere on those. And I'm going to put in this six, and then I'm going to be finished. And that is a tough tough puzzle. Or I was very dumb. Wow, crowd control, very hard to control the crowd. Thank you, Alajem. I did enjoy it, but I wasn't expecting that from it. Uh, great fun. Thank you for watching, as always, on Cracking the Cryptic. Back, please, with something easier tomorrow. But for now.